Hey guys, I'm Brian with Brian's Tips for Dads. This is my daughter Gianna. Thank you so much for choosing my channel today, but I have to be honest with you. Today's video is going to be crappy because we're talking about how to change diapers and we're starting right now. Okay guys, welcome back. So we're ready to start this diaper change, but before we bring out the special guest star that's going to be helping us with this diaper change today, I think you're going to like who it is. Just want to show you the setup, some of the basic things that you're going to need. Um, so right here we got some butt paste and desitin. Now, you don't always have to use this stuff. All your doctor's recommendations, um, every baby's a little bit different, right? But if you do notice some redness, um, you can apply a little bit. The key with the diaper change, everything you do is be gentle, okay? So if you're putting that on, be gentle with it, all right? Now, the other thing we have, obviously, is the changing table. But then right here, I got my wipe warmer, okay? So the wipes are in here, they're nice and warm, makes everything more comfortable, it makes for an easier diaper change. Right here, right below the changing table, have our drawer with the diapers in it and some, uh, extra wipes okay now most uh, almost all of your uh, changing tables they're going to have this seat belt right here so if you have to step away from your baby go ahead and buckle them in for today's demonstration we're not going to be using this um but it's, it'll be all right now i'm going to go ahead and get get our diaper out and Without further ado, we're going to bring out our special guest star for today. It is none other than Chewbacca. Can you believe it? We got Chewbacca here. Chewbacca, thank you so much for coming out to help us with this diaper change video. Are you ready to get started? That means yes, yeah, so let's get to it. So first thing you're going to do, go ahead and lay your baby down on the changing table. Now. Before you actually start changing the diaper, what you're gonna to wanna to do, take out your new diaper and open it up. Now there's actually front and back to your diaper, okay? So you wanna take this, open it up. Now, you see these tabs right here? When you open it up, you have these little tabs, right? That's actually the back, okay? Now, I want you to notice something right here. You see these ridges? See these like little ruffles and then this little edge right there? Just remember that. We're gonna come back to this, all right? So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take this, you're gonna to wanna to put it underneath your baby. Now, a couple different ways to lift your baby up. What, what I do is I put my pointer finger in between the baby's ankles, grab both legs, gently lift, okay? Another way you can do it is just put your arm up underneath and lift them up like that. So, we're going to slide the diaper under those tabs. You remember we talked about them? We are going to make sure that the tabs are facing out. You don't want them in because they'll get stuck. Okay, now, depending on the situation we have, is how many wipes you're going to need. So, for this, I'm just going to use one for right now. Go ahead and have your, have your wipe there. Now, you're ready to get, to get down to business, okay? So what we're going to do, pull the tabs loose on the old diaper. Now, tip, if you got number two in here, instead of just pulling the diaper out and just throwing it away, go ahead and use that diaper some more. Get your money's worth out of it, right? So what you want to do, you're going to pull it loose, grab one of the legs gently. What I like to do is I like to grab the upper leg, um, the upper thigh, because that's a bigger bone, right? Um, I try not to grab by the knee or by the ankle because you don't want to dislocate any of the joints. So grab the upper thigh, take the old diaper, just wipe all that mess out, okay? Now, you, you're going to take this diaper. You're not going to throw it away yet. You're not finished using it. So usually what I like to do is put it here, kind of open it up. I know that seems crazy right now, but there's a purpose for that. So if you have a boy... A tip to avoid a further mess is go ahead and put a wipe over him right there. Because boys like to pee, you don't want to have a mess. That wipe right there will keep everything down and off of you, okay? Now, if you have a girl, 
you want to remember this. When you wipe, wipe from the front to the back, not back to front, front to back. Okay, because that'll keep infections down. Okay, so wipe everything up. Make sure you get in between all the creases, all the rolls, and the kids get kind of chunky. Get all of that wiped up. Okay, with the boys, you know, wipe around all through, get everything cleaned up. Guys, y'all can clean yourselves, you can clean your baby. Okay, get everything cleaned up. Okay, Gianna, are you ready? Let's do some letters. You want to do some letters? Let's do some letters. What do we have here? We have S. S for subscribe to our channel. And we have B. You see the letter B? B as in click the bell. Now is the time if you do need to put some uh, desitin or whatever, go ahead and do it. Get it all up in there, nice and gentle. Okay, now, your dirty wipe, what do you do with it? Just put it in the dirty diaper. Now, here's the thing. The reason why we left it open, just put it in there, take this, roll it up, keep your hands out in the dew, take those tabs, wrap them around. Got a nice clean diaper right there. Now you can put it inside your diaper pill, put that thing in there, close it up, no stink, no smell, no fuss. You are good to go. Now, let's close it all back up. So just take this, put it over, try to make sure everything's nice and square. You don't want your diaper like that, right? You don't like your underwear being sideways. Your baby's not going to like their diaper being sideways. So put it up here. You remember those tabs? You're going to pull them up here. <clears throat> okay, so this is what it's going to look like. This is a little bit messy because it's chewy. Again, Chewy, thank you so much for coming out, taking time out your schedule to assist us with this diaper change. We really appreciate it. So, you want your diaper, your, your tabs across from each other. You want to try to make sure your diaper is all nice and square. Makes for a much more comfortable diaper. Now, you remember those ruffles I was showing you about earlier? This is a hack that my wife showed me. Okay? When I would change my daughter, I would change her and she'd still be fussing, right? Okay, now, I just fed her. She just woke up from a nap. I just changed her and she's still fussing. Usually if you satisfy those three things, hunger, sleep, or she's wet, if you satisfy those three things, they're usually pretty calm, right? They're usually not crying, but if I change her diaper, she'd be crying. My wife showed me this. Take the tap, those ruffles, pop them out. Right? And you remember that line that was inside here? Well, when you pop these rip these ruffles out, it puts the it pulls the line out and everything like that. What was happening by me not doing that, I was giving my daughter a wedgie. Unintentionally, but I was giving her a wedgie. Nobody likes wedgies. Pop those ruffles out, and it also, those little lines that are inside, it keeps the butt in there, keeps everything else in there, makes for a much more comfortable experience okay so that's basically it that's how you change a diaper again thank you big shout out to chewy for helping us with this diaper change thank you so much chewy Bro. that means you're welcome okay guys if you're here checking out this video if you're online doing research about how to do things for your child that means you're already a good parent keep up the good work and i'll see you in the next video did you subscribe yet? If not, go ahead, click subscribe, click the bell so you can be notified every time I put out a new video. I'll be putting out at least one a week. And don't forget, give me a thumbs up.